Yesterday, I published an opinion piece in uh, Brussels Morning, and the title was the, Un the European Union should ban chat GPT. I'll try to explain why. Chat GPT is a generative artificial intelligence agent that is based on a large language model, LLM. It is able to convincingly emulate human discourse to the point of passing the Turing test, becoming indistinguishable from human sentience. Access to chat GPT is public. It is subject just to free registration. ChatGPT integrates with the internet via a plugin. Leading, leading search engines such as Google and Bing have added ChatGPT to their offerings, giving the users the distinct impression that ChatGPT is just another way of providing reliable answers to their search query queries. So when you go to when you go on Google today or on Bing, ChatGPT is there, as if it too, it too were providing you know the correct answers to your questions. ChatGPT is likely to dominate search engines soon, for three reasons. Number one, ChatGPT's output is in the form of digestible, bit-size text capsules eliminating the tedium of having to scroll through dozens of search results and having to click on the links. People are lazy. Number two, ChatGPT appeals to authority by expressly claiming to have access to billions of documents. An unverified claim at best, but it's made. Number three, text is always perceived as way more definitive than visuals or audio, and text is the way ChatGPT presents its results, its answers, and its responses. <clears throat> should this transpire, should ChatGPT take over the search space, it would portend an ominous scenario. ChatGPT gets its answers wrong more often than not. And when it doesn't know the answer, chat GPT hallucinates. It confabulates on the fly. In short, chat GPT lies very often and then grandiosely refuses to back down. <laughs> the makers of this monstrosity claim that it is in counterfactual error only occasionally. That claim is in itself counterfactual. It's untrue. I could even say it's a lie. <laughs> the, uh, even the most friendly research estimates are that ChatGPT hallucinates about 20% of the time. The real figure is way higher. Recently, Jeffrey Hinton, the artificial intelligence pioneer, has confirmed this risk posed by ChatGPT in a wide-ranging interview following his uh, spectacular resignation from Google. Hinton warned against imminently being swamped with fake information, false news and images, and of being unable to tell true from false. Moreover, try it. Phrase the same query differently and you're bound to obtain an utterly disparate response from ChatGPT. I posed 55 factual questions about myself to ChatGPT. My questions revolved around facts, not opinions, not controversies, not debates, facts. Where was I born? Where do I reside? Who is my sister? These kinds of basic data, the correct answers to all these questions are easily found online in sources like Wikipedia, my own websites, interviews in the media, social media, and so on. One click of the button is all it takes. Of course, these answers are available in the public record to which ChatGPT claims it has access. ChatGPT, out of 55 questions, got six answers right, 12 answers partly right, and a whopping 
whopping 37 answers disastrously and libelously wrong. It was terrifying to behold how ChatGPT weaves complete detailed fabrications about my life, replete with names of people I've never heard of, and with wrong dates and places added to the mix to create an appearance of absolute conviction and authority. This is way more dangerous than all the fake news, disinformation and conspiracy theories combined. Because ChatGPT is erroneously perceived by the wider public as objective and factual when it is neither, not by a long shot. The European Union needs to adopt urgent steps to stem this lurid tide before ChatGPT becomes an entrenched phenomenon, especially among users who are gullible, ill-educated, young or conspiracy-minded. And here are the steps that need to be taken now. Number one, if the creators of ChatGPT continue to refuse to fess up, to admit to the abysmal rate of correct answers afforded by their prematurely unleashed contraption, they should be made a minimum to defamation and libel lawsuits. Number two, the makers of ChatGPT should be compelled to publish timely and comprehensive statistics about usage and veracity rates. And number three, ChatGPT is an, on, is an ongoing research project. It should be banned from the public sphere and from search engines. It's not ready. It's infantile. It's immature. More generally, the European Union should tackle the emerging technologies of artificial intelligence and their in ineluctable impacts on job markets, education, activism, and the very social fabric. Legal and regulatory frameworks should be in place when the inevitable encounter between man and machine takes shape. Artificial intelligence is a great promise, and I'm a great supporter of it. But it must be regarded with the same wariness, same caution, that we accord technologies like cloning or genome gene editing. Rigorous regulation should prohibit any deployment of artificial intelligence applications unless and until they have reached a level of stability, fidelity and maturity tested in laboratories over many years in many places in the equivalent of the rigorous clinical trials that we insist on in the pharmaceutical industry.